So over here we have my queen ant. <laughs> it's actually incredible because it turns out that she is fertile. I wasn't sure if she was fertile. Um, it's currently July and we are in nuptial flight season. So I was looking out for uh, Alex and found one. We have a lot of brood and I've been keeping her in the dark and warm. And I'm not sure what kind of species she is. I still have to research it a lot. But we have a lot of brood, so we have a very fertile female, so this is gonna be really fun. Our nanitics have arrived, and this is just awesome, because it's insane how many showed up overnight. There's around 9 to 10 workers, and yesterday there was zero. <laughs> so, I think this is so cool. So I offered them a little piece of apple and it looks like the first worker has arrived at the apple. So we're probably going to see a bunch of them swarming at it soon. Our nanitics are getting their first protein meal. It's really fun to watch. Um, they are destroying this little mosquito I caught outside. <laughs> and man, they're so cool. Look at that. It's pretty interesting to watch their pheromones work as well because as soon as I put that in there and the first ant found it, they just swarmed at it. Like all of them just appear out of nowhere. Now they're dismembering the little mosquito. <laughs> That thing is so tiny and it looks huge compared to them. And the queen seems to be happy with all her little, all her little new workers taking care of her eggs. I've had this queen since July and uh, it is currently November 16 and this is what her colony looks like right now. These are Solenopsis Invicta, fire ants captured in Cape Coral, Florida. And man, look at that. It's amazing. Lots and lots of larva. Keeping the red pill on to avoid freaking them out too much. I have attached this second formicarium and they are starting to move in. They just found it. Which is pretty cool.
Bye. 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 Bye.